There are many different ways to study different topics in psychology. It's what we refer to as research methods. And one of the most basic type of research methods is descriptive research. And when I say basic, I don't necessarily mean that it is easier than other kinds of research. What I mean is that descriptive research is generally done first, and it is what inspires us and leads us to do additional research. And as you may have figured out, uh, descriptive research is used to, uh, it's used to describe. It is used to describe certain phenomena that we see in our environment, and it allows researchers to get a sense of what something really is like, what, what it is, how big it is, or how often it occurs. But it can't really say anything about how or, or why things happen the way that they do. It can't tell us definitively what, what causes it, and it can't make any definitive statements about what other measures might be related to it or, or influencing it. And even so, it can show us some really interesting aspects of people's thoughts and behaviors. And there are three kinds of descriptive research. The first is case studies. The second is naturalistic observations. And the third is interviews and surveys. And we'll go over all three of these in depth in a future video, but I just wanted to give you a, a general idea of what descriptive research is and what sorts of things count as descriptive research.